Hello and welcome. My name is Greg, Electronic Prepress Technician for Document Solutions. In this video, we will examine the proper procedures for creating bleeds within Adobe InDesign. By definition, bleed is a printing term that refers to graphics or design elements which extend beyond the trim edge of your design piece. Bleed ensures that no unprinted edges occur in the final trimming of your document. The first step is to set a bleed margin amount, which is usually an eighth of an inch. Do this by selecting File, then Document Setup. Now the Document Setup palette appears. Select More Options. In the bleed amount, enter 0.125, which is an eighth inch in decimals. Then click the Link button, which will symmetrically set the bleed all the way around. Now press OK. Now, working within our document, we have a red marquee, which is a visual indicator of our bleed margin. As you can see, we have a graphic that extends to the edge on all sides. Therefore, this graphic must extend 1 8 inch over the trim line to our bleed margin. In order to be in compliance with the bleed margin, we will need to do this on the top, left, right, and bottom. In the Tools palette, InDesign offers preview modes, which will show you what your document will look like at final trim size, or you can use the preview mode that includes the bleeds. This way, you can ensure that no sides have been missed. Now that we have successfully set our bleed amount, the next step is to export a PDF including the bleeds. We do this by selecting File, then Export. After the export palette appears, select the file name and destination, then click Save. This palette allows us to modify our bleed settings to include bleeds and crop marks. First, choose High Quality Print, then navigate to Marks and Bleeds. Here we will check Crop Marks and as well use Document Bleed Settings. Notice that the 8th inch margin automatically populates the four fields. Now hit Export. Now review your newly created PDF. It contains both crop marks and an eighth inch symmetrical bleed to ensure no unprinted edges will appear after final trimming.